So this is something I talked about in my post game, in my post practice report. I always do good and not so good. You told me, don't just give takeaways and observations, judge it. And so I judged a, a rookie mini camp in May. And the first not so good, really the only not so good was Kyle. And I was very specific as to why I'm not going to get into it again. I want to say in the future, Kyle, I don't want to be, I'm not trying to reveal your scheme secrets, all that stuff. So I'll, I'll leave it at, at I'm not going to go into the specifics anymore. I made my point. You heard me. But now we're going to talk about your, I mean, some other things about you and, and Trey Lance, Dad. What do you, based on what okay. I reported from that camp, what are you thinking about Kyle's relationship with Trey Lance? Yes. So let, uh, in a way, I'll summarize what you said for everybody without getting into any specifics because we respect the 49ers. Yes. Um, okay. Kyle, from what I understand, drafted a unique athlete, mm -hmm. a unique, and it, unique in two ways. One, I understand he is really football smart. That's what everyone says, big time. Really football smart, meaning he can absorb information from Kyle, and at the line of scrimmage, he can see the whole deal and he make, decisions, make yeah. decisions quickly and brilliantly. The yeah. other is he's a unique athlete who has certain skills, and we won't even get into them. I think you all know what we're talking about that Jimmy doesn't have. And when you say unique, like there's no other quarterback on this team that's anything like this guy. Okay. So from what, what I got from your report, which would have been from last Friday, is Shanahan basically had Trey Lance doing a Jimmy workout, a Jimmy Garoppolo workout. And I yeah. think your, your point was, and we're going to be blunt here, it was a wasted practice. That's how I felt. Yeah. A wasted practice because yeah. you only have X number of practices with your athletes. Yeah. And what he should be practicing is not just what Jimmy does, but what he can do, which is different. Right. And so Kyle lost an opportunity. Would you like to go on from there? Yeah, absolutely. And in the future, I'm not going to talk about what he's doing and what he's not doing. I don't want to – you don't want me to give away those secrets, but I'll let you know, hey, today the Niners did some trace-specific stuff good for them. Or today they didn't. I think that's vague enough and fair enough, but I think it's important for Kyle to know that he – here's my the way I look at it. All the reputable reporters nationally said that Kyle Shanahan liked Trey Lance, but he really liked Mac Jones. The Niners were split. John Lynch wanted Trey Lance, Kyle Shanahan wanted Mac Jones, and that they made their decision the Monday before the draft. Uh, I was, they had a press conference that day. John Lynch was in a great mood. Kyle was not. So I think it's easy to connect the dots and say, this is Kyle's second choice. How committed this is, is per, this is perhaps Kyle's perhaps. Second. Yeah, it's 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 easy to to guess that. To to guess that. And I just want him to prove me wrong. Kyle, show me that you're really all in with Trey Lance. And you have a plan because when Jim Harbaugh drafted Colin Kaepernick, he was all in with him and had a, an entire plan and it worked. And it was a long plan. It took a year and a half. If that's what your plan is for Trey Lance, God love you. But I'd like to see that there is one. And when I watched that, that rookie mini camp, I couldn't see that there was. Iggy, Kyle Shanahan better be all in with Trey Lance. That's or it's saying. a real failure of coaching. It's that's right. a real failure of his duty. And I want to, make a bigger a, a bigger context and we're speculating here and and you know if Kyle watches this and I think he does watch when we talk about him yeah again there are two kinds of coaches there are system coaches who I don't particularly respect in right. certain ways and there are more creative coaches Kyle is a system coach Gruden is a system coach that's right um Andy Reid is not a system coach no uh Belichick on defense is not a system coach he changes the defense every week that's right and what frightens me? Frightens oh, me. one more, one more, one more. Robert Sala was a system coach, evolved into a football coach. When he came to the love Niners, it. he was running his Pete Carroll stuff. Now he can do whatever is necessary to win that week. I love it. Yeah. And look, okay. Kyle has the capability to not be a system coach. He's every bit as brilliant football wise as Robert Sala. He just this is the this is the test. You got to go outside your comfort zone with Trey Lance, and I'd love to see it. So here's what I want to say. If he's a system coach with Trey Lance, he'll have him running the Jimmy offense. Yes. And That's say, right. I can take a guy, any kind of guy, and make him do what I do. And he better do what I he do. He has to do what I do. This is the only he way He has it works. to do what I do. As opposed to a football coach. We're calling mm -hmm. him, I'll say a creative football coach. 
who would bring him in and say, let's you and I talk. Let's go to the board. Tell me your five favorite plays. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you feel really comfortable with. Mm -hmm. We may have different terminology, but we'll adapt my terminology. Tell me the five things you love to do, and I'll make sure we get the terminology, and I put them in the game plan for you because for two reasons. I want you to really succeed for the team, and I want you to feel invested in what you're doing. I, I, want, you, I want you to buy into what you're doing. Yeah. Um, and this, to me, is what a football coach does. And in a way, if Shanahan doesn't do these things for – Trey Lance, he's spitting in the eye of football coaches and saying, it doesn't matter what he can do. I want him to do what I can do. I could have got Matt Jones to That's do right. what I could do. That's I can right. get Jimmy to do what I can do. And I'm saying, this guy can do other things in addition. You better you better do it or why the hell do you have him? Right, exactly. I mean, if, if all you're going to do is the Jimmy offense, then why did you trade up? You could have stayed at 12 and taken Matt Jones. And when I was watching that practice, I was thinking – this is a practice Mac Jones would have looked great in. This is a perfect setting for Mac Jones. All these, all these little dinky dunk passes. Great. He could do that. When are you going to feature Trey Lance, the, the, the Lance-ness of Lance? When are you going to show us why you drafted this guy instead of Mac Jones? I don't, I, I, I mean, I understand that Lynch liked him, but what, about, what is your vision for Trey Lance? Or do you have one? Yeah. And we're talking about Trey Lance buying in. How about Shanahan buying in? Thank you. Thank you. Look, I, I, he was. They were on the other field. They were about seventy yards away. But I'm watching Kyle Shanahan watch Trey Lance do a Jimmy Garoppolo, Mac Jones workout, and I'm watching Kyle, and I'm thinking, he's skeptical. He's skeptical of this kid. All right, you guys wanted me to draft this guy. All right, let's see what he can do. I'm gonna put him through this workout that Jimmy can do. Jimmy can do it. Nick Mullins can do it. Let's see if Trey Lance can do it. Like, all right, man, you, you better be in. You better get in his corner fast. Iggy, we're almost done with this topic, so I have a journalism question to ask sure. you. Do you think we've violated the trust of the Niners in any way we've talked by giving away secrets? I don't care if we're critical of, of Kyle. He has to live with that. He gets paid a lot of money to live with criticism and yeah. doubt. Uh, no, do you I think we've described a single – we haven't given a single detail of what they're working on at practice. They don't want us to give details and to describe. I'm not doing that. What I'm doing is judging without telling. I, I know what I'm looking at, and I'm not going to pass it on, but I'm going to tell you whether I think it's right or not. And you and you understand what I'm saying. He, I needs sure do. he needs to do something specific to him, and when he does, I won't say what it is. But I'll praise him for it. I'll praise the 49ers for it. And if they don't, I'll say another wasted day. Yeah, and so, Kyle, we're really talking to you, and yeah. we're asking you to step up. Can you Can you take the next growth step as a serious coach, or are you just going to be a system coach – for the rest of your life and how boring is that going to yeah. be and again i'm not trying to hurt you or the team i'm trying to help you in the team i'm giving you the right advice just take it as quality control all right joel says lowell you are the best i love the way you were as a journalist and human a just fair and straight shooting guy i love that you held jed accountable this donation is to you that's 109 dollars from sek which i'm not exactly sure where that is but that's big money dad thank you Thank you very much. And you know that all this money goes to Iggy. Yeah, but I owe you about three or four bottles of wine. Yeah, so by the way, yeah. Thank you. 